excuse me. Yeah. No, that won't be necessary. Mr. Marsden has been a very good friend to this office. I thought I made that clear to you. May I see the file, please? Hmm. Mr. Marsden, you're free to go. We're sorry if we've inconvenienced you. This is not your doer. How do you know? Read the file. Carolyn Cobb, five foot seven, 130 pounds, an athlete. The damage to the right parietal bone and left mandible of the victim indicated that the attacker was of extraordinary physical strength. You see, we're looking for a brute, not a kid. You can't overpower a girl like that with two noodles for arms, it's laughable. And then, of course, there's the bleach, a clear sign of premeditation. Your killer knew enough to douse the victim thoroughly inside and out so as to destroy all the DNA evidence. Now, that takes smarts. It takes strategic thinking. What is your level of education, Mr. Marzen? What is it, high school? Less than that? We're looking for an intellect. This one likes to sit in his room and draw comic books with monsters and maybe jack off to the posters on his wall. <laughs> Which brings me to the final piece of exculpatory evidence. Which means, Mr. Marsden, evidence which proves your innocence of the charge. Examination of the decedent's vaginal walls indicate injuries at a depth of nine inches. We're looking for someone with a hammer, not a peanut. You've no idea what All oh, women always know. Men carry themselves one way, boys another. Don't they? Don't they, Mr. Marsden? <sighs> I'm not right there. I'm trying to look down my blouse. That's something a boy would do. So you run along, little one. You run along. I'm sorry. 